Welcome back. It's time for a rave review. All right, guys, up first, guess what? Maya Rudolph is back for Loot Season 2. Now, if you haven't watched this show, it is hysterical. It has a great supporting cast of crazy, lovable, and actually well-developed characters. I love a show that has really good, like, character characters, the ones that you can quote and that you love. Well, this season, we follow billionaire Molly Novak, that's Maya Rudolph, as she moves forward with her plan to help give away all of her money, all like $120 billion that she has, and try to help the homeless in California. Uh, this show is hilarious. I've already watched it. It drops today. Take a look at the trailer. We, ridiculously wealthy people, are the problem. Starting today, I'm going to give away all my money, all $120 billion. Molly Wells is here to talk about her new housing initiative, Space for Everyone. We are on a real mission that is going to help a lot of people. I want you to get everyone into the conference room for a, you know, like a group talk session, like... Are you trying to say the word meeting? Yes, that's it. That's the word. Ugh, oh, it's Sophia again. Oh. She sent me a PDF. What is that? That's violence. That's what it is. I'm just afraid that all I'm ever going to be is some rich guy's ex-wife. You've got a better head on your shoulders than people give you credit for. Cheers! Everybody that works here knows that. Put your hands in the air! Now! I took a CBD gummy last night. I'm trying to be more interesting. Hey, Molly, did you have any thoughts on the PDF I sent you? I refuse to learn what that is. Here we have a folic acid kale smoothie. Mmm, what flavor is this? Gin. That's it. That's what I'm tasting. It's just crazy and kooky and funny, and you're thinking, how do I love this billionaire so much? Well, she's trying to help people, and my Rudolph is just fantastic. A lot of great guest stars this season. Uh, you're going to want to tune in for the guest stars alone. Very funny, memorable. This is the kind of show you want to watch over and over again. If you have not caught up, go watch Loot Season 1. And then Susan, Season 2 drops today. Two episodes drop today with new episodes airing Wednesdays on Apple TV+. Plus. Okay, let's move on really quick to uh, one of my favorite shows. My favorite cake detective show is back for another season. Can you spot the cake or the fake? It's Is It Cake Season 3. Is back with all new players, new celebrity judges, this show is just fun. And by the way, if you have a sweet tooth like I do, you're just craving cake the entire time you're watching it. Take a look. Their goal is to fool our judges. Wait a minute! Oh my gosh! This is crazy. You're a witch! This is harder than it looked from my sofa! What are you hiding? What are you hiding? Yeah. To take their share of a prize of over $100,000. Oh Season three oh is stacked. Yar! There will be thrills. Go Team Canada! Places. No, I'm not getting no. Spills. Ah. Oh! I just need to know. And mind-blowing cakes. I came prepared. Tupperware. <laughs> and finally, I may get the answer to the most important question of our time. Is it cake? <laughs> This show is so much fun. My uh, nephew Justice and I, when I was in um, Dallas for Thanksgiving, Justice loves this show. He has cerebral palsy, and this is the show that makes him happy. And he's like, Uncle Jeremy, Uncle Jeremy, watch this show. We watched Is It Cake all the time. I'm so happy. He was so jealous that I got a screener because I got to see season three before him. But he, it's so much fun. And the best thing is, the judges need to bring Tupperware. Take some of this cake home. Let's not let it go to waste. It is such a fun show. All eight episodes are currently out now on Netflix. And by the way, my success rate for guessing the cake is not very good because they all look amazing. Okay, and up next, oh, this show. Guys, if you love Vanderpump Rules and you love, like, the old Vanderpump Rules, not the whole Scandal side of it, Vanderpump is back. We love Lisa Vanderpump. She's back with a new show called Vanderpump Villa. It's set at a chateau in the south of France. Lisa has hired the best of the best in the hospitality field to create a guest experience like no other. Here's how I picture it. Imagine if Below Deck on the yacht was set at a chateau. That's the way I kind of see it. All the staff, all the drama in the best possible way. Take a look. Vanderpump Villa is a curated luxury experience. It's not just a hotel, it's a fantasy. 
All my staff has to do is execute my wishes. It's a lot of work, a lot of pressure. I want everything to be perfect. I don't want to let Lisa down. We need espresso. Great. It's all in French. No one does sophistication like the French. Bon appétit. So this has been its own unique challenge. I never lived with coworkers. Get Baby. out of my room. Ready to party, ready to have fun. It feels like I'm back in college. Not that I went to college, but I'm just saying. I did not work this hard to have these little whippersnappers screw it up. I love every single one of you guys. Lisa says no drinking behind the bar, but I don't feel like that rule applies to me. Lisa has called an emergency meeting. This is a business. I don't know what you think we're doing here, but I'm telling you now, this could actually take the whole thing down. I'm a conic. Guys, with shows like this, it's all about the casting. This is why it's giving me Vanderpump Rules seasons one through four vibes. It's all about the characters, and these characters are craze, okay? There, you like jo Jax and Stassi from the first few seasons? There is a couple in the show that reminds me of Jax and Stassi from Vanderpump Rules. Like, they are high drama, high fighting. Oh my gosh, I love you. No, I don't, I hate you. Oh my gosh, I love you. Oh my gosh, you cheated on me. It is like Vanderpump Rules. It's all about the casting, and I'm telling you, you will like these characters. I have watched it. It is crazy. I like this show better now than the current season of Vanderpump Rules. There I said it. There I said it. Quote me. Okay, three episodes are out now and then new episodes every Monday on Hulu. And then finally, this is kind of like a fun, refreshing show. If you're looking for a faith-based drama series, check out The Baxters on Prime. This is, this is kind of a crazy show. This stars Roma Downey and Ted McGinley, and it's based on the best-selling novels from Karen Kingsbury. Now, this show is... Not usually up my alley, but I thought I'd give a, sh a chance because my grandmother loved to read her faith-based books, and she was addicted to them and loved them, and I like to see how they adapt to the screen. So take a look at this trailer for the Baxters. One, two, three, Baxters! I'm a little worried about Carrie and Tim. They don't look at each other the same way anymore. Something's bothering you. I have been struggling. Carrie. Built my whole world around you. Tim is in love with another woman. I keep going over it in my mind, and I have no idea how we got to this point. I don't know why you want to stay with him. I'm fighting for my marriage. I get you made a commitment to Tim. You don't know anything about commitment. You can't commit to anything. Have you talked to Ryan? Gary, if you ever need someone to talk to, you know I'm only a phone call away, right? Why did you come back? to save our marriage, if that's still what you want. It fills our hearts to know that we can be here for you. So just so you know, this show kind of reminds me of like that Lifetime Hallmark type show. It's really good, but here's what's crazy, guys, okay? It just came out March 28th, and they dropped three seasons all at once. So that's, I was so confused this morning because I watched season one, I'm like, what do you mean? Yeah, seasons one, two, and three, all 34 episodes are streaming now on Prime. Also, guess what? Kathy Lee Gifford's daughter, Cassidy Gifford, is in this show. I have my own stories about Kathy Lee. I have my own run-in, but I'll share that later. Uh, and also, new mass Singer tonight, Group C Finals. Can you believe we're already at Group C Finals? Then we'll go back to Groups A and B after that. But check that out tonight on Fox. Don't go anywhere. So much more fun on Ozark's Fox AM after this.